Hello, and welcome to Arizona State University's Big Three. I'm Veronica Sanchez, bringing you the top stories from America's most innovative university. Here are three newsworthy items you can report on right now. ASU cracks the top list for the most employable students. A new galaxy discovered by accident is giving researchers a lot of new information about the mysteries of space. And in honor of Black History Month. A lot of the information that we have about Benton is very limited. We'll introduce you to ASU's first African-American graduate and tell you how archivists are hoping to celebrate him this year. Let's begin the big three. Number one, if you have a diploma from ASU, chances are you're more employable than many graduates in the United States. A survey of international employers found that ASU graduates are considered to be highly employable. The Global Employability University Ranking and Survey ranks ASU 13th among U.S. institutions for employable graduates and 34th internationally. That's ahead of John Hopkins, Dartmouth, Brown, and UCLA. Among the biggest employers of ASU graduates, Amazon, Intel, Banner Health, Honeywell, American Express, Microsoft, and Pepsi. One employer said students from the supply chain degree program at the W.P. Carey School of Business make particularly strong candidates. Number two, a brand new galaxy. That's what a team of astronomers led by ASU's Tim Carlton just discovered by accident. The dwarf galaxy appeared in James Webb's Space Telescope imaging, but wasn't the primary observation target. Carlton and his team were initially looking at a cluster of galaxies as part of an extragalactic project. Generally, dwarf galaxies that are out there by themselves are blue because they're continuing to form new stars. There's nothing that's kind of preventing them from getting gas from the universe and condensing that gas and forming new stars. When we found this galaxy to be really red and not forming new stars, this was absolutely against uh, people's expectations for a dwarf galaxy like this. The discovery changes astronomers' understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. It suggests that many isolated galaxies, like this one, are waiting to be identified and that the extragalactic project has the tools to find them. Number three, he graduated 100 years ago in 1924, the first black graduate at ASU. His name is Benton James, and back then, ASU was known as Tempe Normal School. James is one of three black students who graduated from Phoenix Union High School in 1921. After graduation, he became principal of the Paul Dorrance Dunbar Colored School in Tucson. He died in 1988 in L.A. and is buried in a cemetery there. Archivists at ASU are hoping to find more information about his life this year on the 100th anniversary of his graduation. They're hoping someone connected to James will read about him, contact them, and tell them all about the man in this photo. He was an honor during his lifetime for a, a, at least carving a pathway for future generations. And so I think, I hope that we can do better um, and, and do a better job of honoring students. Reach out to us because we want to know and to explore more of the Black and African American history of ASU. And if you have a story or if you have a memory or a connection to ASU, we would absolutely love to hear from you to highlight that history. The archivists believe a university needs to connect with and understand its past and sometimes Archives and yearbook photos only tell a tiny fraction of the story. That does it for ASU's Big Three Stories. Want to use our video? No problem. Just credit it to Arizona State University. Also, ASU has more than 800 experts you can talk to on deadline. Just click on the Media Relations and Strategic Communications page and look for an expert or reach out to me. Finally, check out ASU News X page daily for stories and updates. That does it for ASU's Big Three Stories. Thanks for watching and forks up.